on Tech It Out. We keep bringing you updates from the world of robotics. Watch this story to see how robots are becoming smarter and more sophisticated. A cooking robot is becoming popular among several catering kitchens in Chengdu, the capital of southwest China, Sichuan province. With its ability to prepare complex dishes with precision and consistency, it can operate 24/7. While the robot can help reduce human labor costs and increase efficiency in kitchens, there are still many questions about its performance. For example, do dishes made by the robot taste good? Can this kind of robot replace the chef? Many industry insiders believe the cooking robot is highly efficient, low cost and stable. Also, the digital recipes are conducive to Chinese food standardization. I feel pretty good. Having these meals, I feel the taste is more stable. If the restaurant owner didn't say they were fried by a machine, I would not realize that they are dishes made by a cooking robot. Some people, however, believe that currently the application of cooking robot is still limited. Look at this. A robot is playing the cello. It has performed alongside a symphony orchestra, something that is said to have happened for the first time in the history of music. The joint performance of Swedish composer Jacob Mulrad's piece titled Veer was written specifically for the robot. According to the 33-year-old composer, the experiment is not about replacing human musicians with a robot, but about gaining new insights into the creative process. For example, the unique anatomy of the robotic arm means it is capable of playing double stops that a human hand would not be capable of playing. The robot arms has another anatomic um, structure than the human the human body and the human hands which which of course you know make me look at the cello uh, in another way because suddenly there are like a lot of ways to play the cellos that i i didn't think about before because you know the preconditions of the human an an anatomy so suddenly the cello be has become another instrument for me thanks to this robot Mulrad clarifies that the cello robot does not employ artificial intelligence. However, incorporating AI is something they are considering for future projects. These new possibilities are forcing Mulrad to think about the cello in a completely new way. There are more plans to continue composing music for the robotic cello. Mulrad is planning the first performance in the United States for later this year. There are plans for the robot to play other instruments in the future as well. Robotic dogs are being tested to remove garbage and carry goods on Mount Tai, a mountain located in East China's Shandong province. With its natural and cultural values well interconnected, Mount Tai was listed as the first world cultural and natural heritage site of China by UNESCO. Operated by Taishan Culture Tourism Group, the robotic dog enjoys a maximum load capacity of 120 kilograms and battery working time of at least 4 hours. The application of such robots is expected to greatly facilitate the garbage removal work at high altitude scenic areas.